one and all, I'm Alexis, aka The Soft Reader, and I'm here today to do the top thriller books on my TBR. This is kind of a series I've been doing over the past year, where every couple of months I pick a topic, a genre, and I just mention all the books on my TBR that fall within that genre. And as it is October, and it is the spoopy season, that's right, I'm going to tell you guys all the thrillers on my TBR. Now, all of these have either been recently hauled or are ones that are in my October TBR, I think for at least half of them. Um, but I've mentioned this before, I hoard, uh, I specifically hoard thrillers to read in October, and I pretty much only read thrillers in October. Love the genre, but... Uh, pretty much I just, uh, yeah, I, I like being spooked in the spoopy season, so that's why I do that. So what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and start with the three that I'm going to mention that are actually on my October TBR, and then we'll get into the rest afterwards. The first one I'm going to mention is You by Caroline Kepnes. Again, this is a book I said I wanted to read this October, and I definitely intend to. This is actually follows our main character, Joe, who is actually stalking a young woman named Genevieve. And we basically are following the mind of a stalker as he is stalking this woman and obsessing about her. And I've heard that this book is so creepy and like that's what I want it to be. I want it to just make me have to sleep with my lights on. Um, and yeah, I've just, I've heard this book is so creepy and so uniquely creepy that I'm, I'm super excited to read it. Like, once I get done with all the arcs I have to read, this is the first book I'm going to be picking up because I'm just excited for it. The next one I'm going to mention is Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. This is about um, two sisters who disappeared and three years later only one of them came back, Cass, um, and she is left to tell a story of what has happened to her and her sister over the course of these three years. Um, and it actually follows a forensic psychologist who hears the story and discovers that Something doesn't quite add up with Cass's story, and it's about basically just the unraveling of the truth about what happened to these sisters. And yeah, it's some really good reviews for it. It's a pretty short book, um, but I hope it takes me on a wild ride. Um, I've heard some like wild things about Wendy Walker's other book too, so I'm super excited to get to this one. And lastly on my definite TBR for October was Final Girls by Riley Sager. This follows our main character Quincy, who is the lone survivor of a tragedy, which marks her as what's known as a final girl. And it's about Quincy basically joining a support group for other final girls. And then one day one of these young women is found dead in her bathtub, and it is believed to be a suicide, but these girls know that that's not true, and they discover that someone is actually hunting final girls down. Um, I've heard people say that if you love slasher films, you'll love this, because it has like the pacing and the vibe and the, I guess, gore of a slasher film. Um, I love, like, all horror movies. Horror movies are, like, a special brand of love in my heart. So when I heard the premise of that one, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited and I hope I really like it. The next one I'm going to mention is In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Um, in general, I'm really intrigued to check out Ruth Ware as an author. She is a thriller author, um, but this book has always sounded the most interesting to me. This actually follows our main character who is invited to a wedding um, of an old friend of hers that she hasn't spoken to in quite some years, and so she goes into this like cabin in the woods basically to celebrate this wedding uh, with her friends and these other people that she hasn't seen. Um, and then a murder mystery happens when someone is found dead and it's basically just trying to figure out what the hell is going on and who is going to be next. And um, this book makes me think of, I, and if I, I'll, if I can figure out the name of the TV show I'll link it down below, but there's a TV show that came out several years ago, like six, seven years ago, that kind of has a really similar premise to this. I think it's called Harper's Island or or something like that. Again, I'll put it on the screen. But the premise sounds so similar to that and I loved that TV show so that's what intrigued me by this. But yeah, I'm really excited to get to this one whenever I get a chance to. The next one I'm going to mention is oddly enough the only YA thriller on this list and that is First We Were Four by Alexandra Sirowi. This follows a group of friends who are part of like the secret little society they have where they pull off pranks. So they pull off pranks and the, they try not to get caught. 
Um, and then something really horrific happens and it's basically them trying to deal with the aftermath of this event. Lala over at Books and Lala really really liked this um, and she's a big fan of this author too. Um, and I pretty much trust her implicitly when it comes to thrillers. <laughs> so if she likes it, I am willing to absolutely give it a shot and I hope I would get to it pretty soon. It's kind of a big book, but we'll see. The next book I'm going to mention is one I know is very, very well beloved and that is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This is a heavy book too, by the way. Um, this basically follows a guy who's investigating uh, the s apparent suicide of a reclusive director, I think is the premise. Um, but I know that this book does feature like mixed media elements. So it does have like uh, web pages and stuff like that and that's an appeal to a lot of people. Um, like I said, I know that people really, really love this book. Um, and yeah, I've pretty much been interested to hear to check it out since I first heard about it. And yeah, it's kind of a big one, so I don't I don't know when I'll get to it, but just know that it's on my radar. And if you've read it, I really would love to know what you've heard because I pretty much, like I've only heard good things about it, so if you keep telling me good things about it, I'll pick it up eventually. The next one I'm going to mention is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. This is Paula Hawkins' sophomore novel, obviously following her hit The Girl on the Train. Um, personally, I really liked The Girl on the Train. Um, I definitely understand a lot of the criticisms that it gets from people who didn't love it as much. Um, but I'm not like a guru of thriller by any stretch of the imagination, so that being said, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I've heard that this book is very different. I've heard that this book is just so totally different from The Girl on the Train, both in like tone and in like subject matter. This basically tells the story of a town where there is a lake that women keep like going into and drowning and it's basically like the mystery of like what exactly is going on. Um, so yeah, I, I mean I picked this one up when it first came out and I definitely would be intrigued to pick it up given that I did like Paula Hawkins' first novel and I've actually, one of my good friends really really liked it as well. So yes, yeah, so I definitely would be interested to check this one out. Um, definitely if you've read this one, I really want to know your thoughts on this one if you've read it because like I'm unsure like how to feel about it pre-reading it. The last book I'm going to mention is actually one I haven't talked on my channel about at all because I just bought it in the month of September so it will be included in the haul coming in a few days um, and that is Karen Slaughter's Pretty Girls. Um, this book um, was never on my radar until uh, in the last couple of months when Chelsea over at Chelsea Doling Reads was talking about it and she was talking about um, she read this book a while ago but she really loved it and she said this is one of the like weirdest, most effed up books she's ever read. Um, and that really intrigued me and I was like, oh, okay, alright. Um, people say it's really weird and I'm really intrigued to pick it up. Um, I know Karen Slaughter also is another big name in the thriller genre. Um, but this one was only like six bucks. Uh, like I said, I had seen Chelsea buzz about it. Um, and I know a couple other booktubers have rated it very highly. So this one I'm intrigued about. Um, considering I don't know much about it, like I don't even think I know the plot of this book. So if you've read this one, please let me know what you think. Those are the top eight thrillers on my TBR. Like I said, about half of these are going to get read this month and then probably the other half I'll probably save till next October if I'm being honest with myself. Um, if you guys have any uh, thriller recommendations, please give them to me. I would love to hear them. Like, just tell me what your favorite thriller is. Uh, I probably will go pick it up. And if there's anything else you want to chat to me about in the comments down below, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon with another video.